Hey FossTube, it's Katie the Stash Queen coming to you with a Stitchy Box unboxing video. Yay! The reason, I don't usually do separate Stitchy Box unboxing videos and that's just because um, I usually do it with part of my stash acquisitions, but this was the first month that all of the new add-ons were included. The Stitch It Up pattern, the Bling It Up Bling, and the Button It Up buttons. So I wanted to take a second to show you guys what awesome, amazing, incredible, fantastic, wonderful goodies that Liz has included this time. I'm so excited. So, Stitchy Box. Goodies. Okay, I'm going to do the standard Stitchy Box stuff first um, and leave the uh, added ons, add ons later. Um, it's the Royal Academy this month, this is the color scheme. Welcome to our second year of Stitchy Box. Our second Christmas themed shipment was inspired by a private view at the Royal Academy. Uh, and then it goes on about other details. So that's the color scheme. So the fabric that I got is a 32 count even weave in antique white with silver sparkles from Fabric Flair. I've never used them before. Fabric, you can't really see the sparkles so much, but Fabric Flair is interesting because it has a color on one side and then it's pure white on the other so you know which side you're supposed to work on. So that'll be an interesting one to use. I decided to try it out. Then we have the Fabulous Threads. which, let's see, we've got uh, the Floramil Silk Floss by Gloriana. This is in leaf green. Five yard hand dyed, soy valger, how do you pronounce that word? Then we have a dinky dye silk in stringy bark. It's really pretty brown. Then we have Classic Color Works in Rainy Day, which is a gorgeous purple. Then this is a Gentle Arts Simply Wool in Bruce, Blue Spruce. It's really pretty. And then the limited edition one this month from Gentle Arts is Spiked Punch. I think this is my favorite of the limited edition ones so far. So pretty. And then because she forgot to put it in there, there was the one more thing. And that is The Krynik, which is a uh, number four braid in 210. Pretty bungy gold. And then for the fantastic embellishments for this month, there was the, uh, we got Delica size 11 beads, little seed beads in the little cream pearl color. So pretty. And then a Gloriana. Um, a gilded pink silk ribbon. I've never used the ribbon before, but it's gorgeous. So those are what came for the standard stitchy box goodies. And then you guys know me. I'm the stash queen. Of course, I got the rest of it. So stitch it up is the pattern. And it goes along with everything that came in the box. It is Christmas leaf wreath sorry christmas wreath by lindsey lane designs and there's two mock-ups using the different fabrics and flosses and embellishments that came in with the, pa the packets this month isn't that just so sweet i thought that was awesome then buttoned up you got the hand dyed buttons by just another button company, the Royal Academy Stitchy Box Exclusive Limited Edition Blend. So you got big buttons and little buttons and different types of textures with their buttons. And they're all such pretty colors. I love it. And then the last part was what I was most excited about, quite honestly. Bling it up. You know I love my bling. Look at this. Just look. See that all of them in there? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14 little packets of bling. Okay, show them all. This is a uh, Mayuki size 15 seed beads in warm chocolate brown. Let's see, can I find something that I might be able to use as a back for this? Let's look. Then this one is a Swarovski six millimeter drop in amethyst. It's a really pretty little jewel. This one is Mayuki size 11 seed beads in ivory pearl cellion. Gotta do these really quick. This is Toho size 15 seed beads in matte jet black. This is Delica size 11 beads in frosted green line topaz AB. This is Mayuki three millimeter bugle beads in silver lined olive. This is Toho size 11 seed beads in transparent amethyst. This is Delica size 11 seed beads in silver gray satin. This is Mayuki size 11 seed beads in uh, chartreuse, transparent chartreuse. This is Mayuki size 15 burgundy gold, gold luster. This is Mayuki size 15 uh, silver lined gold. This is Mayuki size 11 seed beads in galvanized apricot gold. These are six millimeter honeycomb beads in crystal capri. And this is a eight millimeter round blue gold stone. How can you not be thrilled about the bling? I mean, seriously. Liz, you have outdone yourself. It is all incredible and awesome, and I can't wait to play with it all. So this is my Stitchy Box unboxing. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!